welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another one of my videos. So today is my April favourites. I'm really excited to be showing you what items I have been loving throughout April. So first of all, my first favourite of April is the Pixie Glow Tonic. So I'd heard so much about this Glow Tonic previously. I'd had a few samples in like a few beauty boxes going back over the years and I'd always kind of like loved it and wanted to try it but never really like did it for a prolonged period of time. So since I've had like a bit of an acne breakout on my chin recently, I thought nope, I really need to like refocus on my skincare and really focus on the products that I'm putting onto my skin. So I thought it was about time to to try this toner because obviously I wanted like a bit more glowy skin anyway so I thought that the glow tonic would be perfect for this so I've been using it for roughly three four weeks now um I've noticed that my skin because it's like an exfoliating toner as well I've noticed my skin doesn't like clog my makeup as much um I've noticed definitely like the spots around my forehead have cleared and my chin is clearing up slowly as well but I've actually looked into Chinese face mapping recently and um yeah acne on your chin actually means that it's hormonal as well so yeah there's definitely like a few things which could be contributing to do with that like hormonal wise so I think I just need to chill on the spot front but anyway a great toner I've really benefited from using it I've noticed my skin looks a lot clearer like like makeup free and um yeah it does like give you a nice like subtle glow as well like obviously not like a Kim Kardashian glow makeup free do you know what I mean but it's just like a really nice subtle kind of sheen glow um which I'm really really liking so it's helping me to feel more comfortable makeup free and it's helping obviously the foundation of my skin as well for when I put my makeup on so highly recommend this and yeah like I've been using it a month and I've barely used any so the big bottles really do last. My next favourite of April is another Pixi product. So the lovely team at Pixi, I bought that skin tonic, but the lovely people at Pixi PR sent me a mahoosive, mahoosive beauty box full of all of their new Pixi Pretties range with the beauty bloggers they've collaborated with. So there was like loads of eyeshadow palettes, loads of eyeliner stuff, lip palettes, which super excited me. But this palette by Dolce Candy, Dolce Candy, Dolce Candy, there we go, I got the name right, um, has just been phenomenal. So I'm actually wearing it today. I've changed it up for the last month. So in the last couple of videos you will see I've actually been wearing this palette. Um, so I've still gone for the same kind of colors as I used to go for before, like goldy kind of like bronzy tones. So um, I've been using this color here, which is, I think, well, the, the, the diagram on the back's not really helpful because it's like, is it that one or that one? Like they give you a little diagram of the, um, like the palette, but which one does it relate to? So it's either Brilliance or Caramello. I'm guessing it's Caramello because it's darker. Um, so I've been using that one as the base. And then for darker, I've been using this one, which is Bon Bon. Yeah, I think it is, it's Bon Bon. Um, so they, these two colours are my favourite in the palette but I'm yet to try out the kind of pinkier colours and be a little bit more adventurous but these are super pigmented, they are so, so awesome, like loads of people are giving me loads of compliments and saying like how more vibrant my eye makeup looks and oh I just, I cannot shout about this enough, it's so worth the money, the best eyeshadow palette I've had in such a long time, like I was so so sold with Tanya Burr's eye palette, that's what I wore religiously before, but now I've swapped to this, there's no going back, I love it, love it, love it, and yeah the pigments are just awesome. My next favourite is another wall hanging from my favourite Etsy store, Copper Moon, so um, I have this dangling on my staircase, so at the top you've got like little so you've got a little copper ring to hang it obviously on like something then you've got these amethyst and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to name all of the crystals on here but basically you've got a long line of crystals you've then got a little moon and then moving down you've then got the buddha symbol the I think it's the om sim symbol isn't it I'm pretty sure it's the om symbol and then a little lotus flower and then I don't think I can stretch anymore <laughs> You've then got a lovely amethyst at the bottom as well, like a big rock of amethyst. So this is proudly hanging on my staircase at the moment. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love everything I've bought from Copper Moon. So I'll link her shop down below because these are so gorgeous and so lovely. And yeah, the crystals feel amazing. And it's good to like incorporate like spirituality and crystals into like 
a little art piece really. So yeah, this is definitely being proudly displayed on my wall this month. So my next favorite this month is May's edition of Soul and Spirit magazine. Now it is my favorite because my name's on the front of it. Ah, I like, have a look at this if you want a closer look. But it says, Emma Mumford, how I discovered my twin flame. So I this is like such, such a big, incredible achievement for me. I'm so, so proud and grateful and happy and blessed to be able to be a part of the magazine, let alone be on the front cover. I mean, dream come true, literally. So um, yeah, I, I mean, I love this magazine anyway. You guys know I read this every single month and shout about it. And that's why I'm so passionate about like working with them because I love the magazine and know so many of you guys love it as well. So on the contents page, it says, our twin flame is forever. The spiritual queen, Emma Mumford, reveals her amazing story of how she manifested her dream man. Yes, I do. So let's skip to page 77. So here is my article. Really, really happy with this. Um, yes, Mr. C is in it as well. And yes, he did know about it. Everyone was like, did you tell him? I was like, yeah, I feel like legally I, I did have to tell him. He could have like sued me or something. But um, yeah, I did tell him he was gonna be in it. Um, not sure whether he's happy about being in it. Um, he hasn't really said either way, but he's super proud. So that's all that matters. Um, so yeah, I've got um, an article all about how, so a double page article as well, like, yes, that's amazing. All about how I manifested him, the things I used, crystals, affirmations, advice, um, basically what a twin flame is and how you can do it too effectively. So super proud of this, a massive achievement, like massive, massive achievement. I'm so proud of this. And I love working with the Soul and Spirit guys because they're just all so lovely, so laid back and they get it, like they get it. It's the first press publication I've worked with who actually don't try to like change my ideas or change my views or change anything. They're just like, we get it. So I think like this is definitely proof that I've like found my purpose. Cause when I did money saving, like they'd always be like, yeah, we're just gonna say this and we're just gonna say this. And I was like, well, that's not true. Whereas this is like fully me, fully like, a full expression of what I want to say, basically. So yeah, I forgot to say, it's out now. <laughs> you can buy it now at any news agents or supermarket. Or if you live abroad, one of my lovely followers in my Facebook group actually said you can buy like, you can buy a, copy, a digital copy on Amazon or something. So yeah, there's definitely ways you can read this. And it's just such a fab magazine anyway. And this month they've got an angel pull out as well about how to connect your angels and work with your angels. So my last favorite this month is a crystal. Um, now I have stocked up on a few crystals recently and this one is called green sardonyx and it's for strength protection good fortune brings stability and lasting happiness to partnerships so i got this crystal just because i really felt drawn to it like when i picked it up i was like yes like you know when you just pick up a crystal and you're just like this was meant for me this i got this from this little baby so i've been carrying this baby around with me um i do feel like i've got more strength like in a piece it brings me so much peace this crystal and i do feel like it's just really helping like all relationships in my life like just yeah i just feel like a real big like sense of peace calm serenity it's just such a loving crystal to have around so yeah definitely get yourself some if you want to like strengthen your relationships or feel like like just more love or stability and power like and I think it has brought good fortune as well definitely so definitely recommend getting yourself one of these love it love it love it so there you have it guys there are my April favorites I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and as always everything I've spoken about will be linked in the description box down below so thank you so much for watching this video I appreciate all your views and likes don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love love to see you again soon don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to them all and I will see you in my next video which will be next week lots of love guys